Sports. T.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin. Most people know that the Celtics are big proponents of analytics. And their star Jason Tatum said, it's helped me a lot, knowing what works best. It starts by attacking the basket, trying to get more layups and free throws. That opens up the game. Not avoiding mid-range shots, but getting in a rhythm first. And it's been working. It sure has. Thanks, D.A. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Tucker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. Hayward at small forward. With Tatum at the four. And it's Tice in at the center position. And for the Warriors, Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green is out there with Chris. And it's Wiggins in at the three slot. We've got a primetime interconference rivalry. Greg, what do you expect to see here tonight? Uh, could be a, a feeling out process early, but I do think once the teams get going, expect it to be physical and contentious. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And, and early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. It's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Celtics. Outside Tatum. Curry against Walker. Five to shoot. The teardrop falls in. Walker's got the first points on the scoreboard for the Celtics. And showing another dimension of his game. Walker so crafty with the delicate floater there. Wiggins finds Green. Thompson with it. Now guarded by Tatum. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Brown outside. Shoots from 12. A shot off that time. The Warriors go the other way. And, and Jason Tatum, he got a lot of the pub last year, and deservedly so. But Jalen Brown made monstrous strides as well, especially when it came to efficiency. Green with the rebound. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. That's to Curry. The offensive rebound. They shoot again. No good on the layup. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Brown. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And you look at Brown's field goal percentage and his free throw percentage, Greg, both career highs last season. And, Kev, his shot was never broken. The motion never had to be rebuilt. Brown's problem coming into the league was that he would shoot the ball differently every time. Once he landed on the repeatable mechanics, you could see the consistency start to take form. Green and the rejection by Tatum. On the wing, Brown. He's covered by Thompson. 122 left here in the opening quarter. Walker against Curry. Shots good by Walker. And the pick and roll so effective when the ball's in Walker's hands that you can count on him to make the right read almost every time. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. And that sends Draymond Green to the free throw line. It goes on Jason Tatum. Draymond Green, a modern day big, and of course we know the impact he has defensively, but for his career, he's only hitting around 30% of his threes, and the last two seasons have been well below that. It's still his willingness to take them that's going to keep a defense honest. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. What's up? Free throw good green. 
When Draymond plays the center position, though, Brent, 30% from three isn't all that bad. Well, again, we'll go back to the idea of the threat of the shooter. That's going to create more space for all of the action that's happening behind Draymond Green. And, of course, we know his willingness to pass up shots to the preferred pass. That's where he really makes an impact. And Cantor able to finish. One of the game's very best offensive rebounders, Cantor also has the wherewithal to quickly convert for the score. Green, the pass to Toscano. Here's Poole. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. A terrific combo guard. Some people are comparing Poole's style to that of C.J. McCollum's. Yeah, I don't know if it's that similar, maybe stylistically, but C.J.'s size and his control are, are something that right now, I guarantee you, Jordan Poole would love to adopt in his game. The first one falls, and the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Williams. Nice ball movement by Boston. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And of course, in 2015, Cantor signed that enormous max contract, four years and $70 million. I think a lot of that investment is in his improvement in his outside shooting. That one is off. And he's good on the second. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, here's Poole. Passes it to Wiggins. Over Smart. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Celtics out in front, up by four. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. So, Greg, as you know, we asked Steph Curry, a great self-motivator in his own room. Who holds you to the highest standard? And here's what he had to say. Oh, my wife, for sure. No, no, everyone disappoint her. Looks like he's got a good team both at home and right here in front of us. Steph has already put up a Hall of Fame career, but you can tell he doesn't feel anywhere near being done. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And when you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what do you think? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Eric Paschal out there with Looney. Then it's Wiggins, and it's Poole in at the point guard. Here's Poole. You know, Greg, when you were in New York, you were on a super team of sorts. Compare that to the super teams they are forming now in the NBA. Oh, we've always had super teams. And this misnomer that this is something that's just come about with this era is, to me, absurd. You've always had it. Whether The difference nowadays is I think the players have more say in where they go. Uh, and they can orchestrate how a team is constructed. But it's always existed. And the reality is this. You become a super team when you win a lot. Sure. And, and that's what really dictates how super your team is. The Warriors making a switch here. Smiley Geach has checked in. Here's Wanamaker. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. 
Andrew Wiggins, kind of guy that people watch with a microscope, but he has cut down on inefficient shots. Those long twos started to take more threes and using his athletic ability when he gets on the inside to get to the foul line. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrich. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says, when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, DA, there. Thanks. Here's Poole. There's the pass to Smilagic. Six on the shot clock. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down now out. to just seven on the bucket from Poole. And Wiggins looking more aggressive off the bounce. Brent getting into the teeth of the defense. Yeah, and his assists are climbing because of that. Also, his turnover. So now what you want to do is slow down the game for Andrew Wiggins and show him on film where his outlets are and where his decision-making can be that much better. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. And Walker's got the ball here for Boston. Over Curry. No good off the front eye. Warriors have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Thompson looking for an opening. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Superb job by Clay to draw the contact for the N1 opportunity. Great focus on the play. And we hear a player is attacking rehab. You know, Greg, by all accounts, Clay took it to another level. Uh, he said he hadn't stopped working since the third day after the NBA Finals. There was even some talk of him coming back toward the end of the year. But the Warriors quickly shut that down, knowing how much he means to this franchise. Such a natural shooter. That was Thompson's calling card coming out of Washington State as a Cougar, and he's added to his game now. Always one of the premier two guards that steps on the floor for any NBA season. Tatum finds Walker. Back to Tatum. And here's Tice. To the middle. Here's Brown. Makes it off the glass. Brown's got his second basket of the game. And Brown is just a physical beast, especially inside where he gets whatever he wants. Chris passed the basket. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Nice ball movement by Boston. Pass to Tice. To the paint. Here's Brown. Good D by Thompson. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. A three-pointer is right on target. Now just a one-point Boston lead. That's more like it. Rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. And Hayward gets it to go. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Walker against Curry. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first half. off in time and beat the shot clock but it's no good and some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime Celtics lead by three and a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside David thanks very much Draymond of course not unusual to see you going up against bigger players so how do you take advantage of that offensively I mean you just gotta take advantage of mismatch you know most of the time there's a big guy on me if not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. You know, I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. 
You've done just Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. They didn't stop fighting in the second quarter as they maintained most of their first quarter lead and now lead by three at the break. Kenny. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. get into this third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet Clay Thompson with a strong contribution so far in this one yeah I don't know if there's anything that the lead can do to slow him down he, he's just that good yeah avalanche warning in this one he is just on a roll and so it's Boston with it three-point lead Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. Brown and Hayworth, they're the wing. Daniel Tice out there with Tatum. And it's Walker in a point. And that one drops for him. Walker's got six points. A new generation of players, Greg, coming into the NBA alongside your son, Cole. Uh, we've got a lot of players who I think are going to have a long-term impact on this team. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Listen, I hope Cole can have the kind of impact that some of these guys are. But look at the Grizzlies. I think they got two terrific ones. John Morant has superstar written all over him. Brandon Clark probably surprised some people with his ability to have an impact. And if you look at this past draft, Obi Toppin is one to watch. This is a guy with great size and length who was a perimeter player until he had a growth spurt. So those are the types of players that I think when you combine athleticism and skill with the way the court is spaced, man, can have a tremendous impact in this game. Celtics leading by four. On a team filled with big wings last year, Walker gave the Celtics a guy with great supreme quickness who could break down the defense when nothing else was there. And he's that rare commodity, an elite catalyst who doesn't have to dominate the ball to make an impact. That allows room for others to feel empowered out on the floor. It's just one of the many ways Walker makes his teammates better. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Curry with it. He's picked up by Walker. And there's Chris. That's good on the assist by Curry. Chris has got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Warriors have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Here's Wiggins. A miss that time would have put him up. Celtics have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Hayward against Thompson. Hayward looking over the floor. The shot comes out. Good D by Thompson. They haven't led the game yet. A chance to do so right here. Looking for that upper hand right now. And even three-on-three three break. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making timeout, the timeout. defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're Sorry. making. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. making some changes here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Toscano passes to Poole. Smile at each. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. That's their third straight make off an assist. 
Wanamaker looking over the floor. The shot's good from Cantor. Cantor's got five. The number of go-to moves and a soft touch. Cantor can crush you inside. Curry fires from way outside. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Smart against Curry. It's stolen by Curry. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Curry leading the charge. Curry going coast to coast in no time, so great speed shown on that fast break. Pass to Cannon. With the fadeaway, and the shot goes in. He has seven. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jumper. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Outside Curry. And he uses the glass on the layup. Curry's got the lead up to one now for the Warriors. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And here is Brown. Six points for him. Three seconds left, and he sinks the layup. Brown's got four points in the quarter. And that's where Brown is at his best. A muscular beast who loves finishing strong through the contact. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. It's the Celtics. They lead by one. Five from Chase Center. You're watching 2K Sports. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. We've got Eric Haskell. Curry is out there with Wiggins, and it's Toscano in at the three slot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Beyond the arc, rebound Boston. Brown's got his fifth rebound in this one. Passes it to Green. feed to Williams. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Williams has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Celtics. Toscano passes to Smilagich. Here's Toscano. That one a little long. Celtics leading by three. Feeds to Smart. And Pascal pulls it down. Golden State's gone 3 of 7 tonight from three point territory. Outside Curry. There's the triple. Nailed from three point land. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. I mean, he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Daniel Tice is checked in for Ennis Cantor. Tatum comes in for Williams. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Walker subbed in for Green. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, look, here's what Brad Stevens went over with his guys during the break. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. Walker finds Tice. To the inside. Here's Smart. Great pass to set up the lay-in. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. 
Walker against Curry. Here's the teardrop. It's blocked. 149 left in the fourth quarter of this one. They get a hand on it and stolen by Chris. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Clay Thompson, no stranger to these situations, always willing to fire in the big moment. That's a two-pointer from Walker, and the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. And the Celtics also making a change. Jalen Brown's checked in for Smart. The Warriors lead it. Just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And the Warriors miss again. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Yeah, and he had to be tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. The Celtics have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Up again. It's good. A huge shot to tie it up just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Inside, Chris. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? That's good from Chris. Yeah, terrific and one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. 52 seconds left in the game. Walker against Curry. It's deflected. That's some good use of the length right there from Marquise Chris reaching out and swatting that one away. Five on the clock. The second chance effort. Here's Curry, here's Wiggins, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And he steps up and knocks them down possession game. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by five. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken Brown. Amon Green with the rebound. And it's Golden State's ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. And they go to the intentional foul. At the line for your Warriors. Draymond Green. At the line for two. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. 
And the fire that Draymond Green plays with, I think, is the most admirable quality. Knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long, grinding 82-game season. A job well done at the line on that possession. They'll make things a little easier on themselves if they can convert those. And let's give some credit to Tatum. Doesn't crack when the pressure's on. He just seems to embrace the moment. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. He had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Two. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. One thing that's quietly understated about Steph Curry is that competitive fire to keep pushing the envelope. Even though he's set these high marks and these high bars, he wants to see if he can eclipse some of the marks that he set in the early part of his career. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. So we see the Warriors get the win here. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and, and to send these fans home happy. It's time now to go courtside as we